Hmm. Is this in focus? I don't know. How's the lighting on this? Fucking hell, I don't even know. How's the lighting on this? All right, cool. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little bit, but we're getting back on a schedule slash a routine. Life has been absolutely fucking crazy. I am just gonna throw that out there. So I'm just trying to keep up with everything and also do YouTube as like a fun side hobby slash a documentation of my life. So I'm trying, trying my best guys. And also I wanna make sure if I post something, it's actually meaningful and has an impact upon myself and others. Um, today we'll be talking about the importance of having a good social support network or a social circle or a friend group, the importance of it. I feel like I've struggled with this in the past because I know in this culture, everyone praises the lone wolf mentality of like, you don't need anyone, just be your own boss, be your own fucking friend, be your blah, blah, blah. All this like really toxic self-help bullshit. No, but in short, you need good fucking friends. You need people you can lean on to, express, vent, and just have people that will just have your back when you're having a really bad day. I've noticed this in my personal life. My life has dramatically gotten better since I've, I don't know, opened myself up and found really cool friends. The downside of it is to find really good friends, you kind of have to go through some bad ones. I feel like they just kind of happen, but it's also in your ability to walk away and realize that you can find something better. But if you find really good friends, even better. I've noticed that my psyche and you know, my mental health has gone up significantly since I've been hanging out with people who have my back and absolutely love me and want the best for me. And this only happens if you have the right social group. And this does take time to develop. You know, you gotta go through trial and error. But when you find the ones that are worth keeping, holy crap, your life becomes great. It's like simple things become like the highlight reel of your life. Also apologize for this lighting difference. It's, it's fucking gone crazy right now, but we're on a fucking budget, so whatever. Um, but no, like the simple things feel absolutely so much fun. Like you can just be having a beer or sitting in a room or just, I don't know, just listen to music or just sitting on a couch and having a conversation. It is so much fun and makes your life like worth living. And I truly do mean that. I know there have been many psychological studies done in the past where what's a indicator of someone that's gonna live a very long time. I think there's a Harvard study where they track people from like, um, I think, college yeah so once once as they graduate college all the way to their death and the person who lived the longest was because they had really good connection and friends i think that's that's it it's meaning through friends meaning through people and i think in this culture and day and age especially with whatever happened the pandemic and um with social media i feel like that human aspect and physical touch and physical connection has been kind of depleted and i feel so so bad for um I don't know, younger generations or people, if you're my own age, who struggle to develop healthy, intimate relationships um, because you lack the social uh, skills and awareness, not a fault of your own, but just through, I don't know, life um, environment, through your environment pretty much, and it's not your fault. But the greatest thing is you can work on it and get yourself out there. But I do want to say that the importance of having friends is, is really, I don't know, like, um, made my life better. I know that when I first moved here to the East Coast, it was really fucking lonely. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really have any friends and I tried to do this like lone wolf mentality, alpha, sigma male bullshit. And uh, no, that doesn't really fucking work. It's, no, you need people that you can be vulnerable with and just be friends with, be a normal fucking person and be there for each other and also to share really good times as well as bad times. I think that's what defines a friendship. But in order to get here, it's taken me a lot of like time and, and it's also a coincidence of how I met people. You can't go out and force friendships, but like you can go out doing the things you want to. Anyways, go to a bar alone, go to a jazz event, and I don't know, go to the museum, go to the go-kart track, do whatever you actually enjoy. And there's also gonna be like-minded people and just open up a conversation, it's super simple, um, because what's the other option? Living in regret on your bed, saying, wow, I should have talked to that other, other person. And then maybe that person will introduce you to someone else and then you find an ex-girlfriend and bam. Weird stuff like that does happen. But um, I do wanna say that it's been a blessing and I'm so glad that I took a step back and actually started to enjoy my life and have a really good group of friends that have my back. I, it's, I can't really, like, it's almost weird. It's like nothing in my life really changed, but then having this friend group taught me, kind of made my life have more meaning. And you can't put a price on good friends and experiences that you've had. You cannot, it's it's pretty much in, impossible to replicate this through anything else. Yes, having more money would sound like the other option, but I don't know, if you have so much money and you don't have anyone to share it with, it gets pretty boring pretty fast. And it's like, what's the point? I don't know. If you have a lot of wealth, you might as well share with others and go on cool experiences. I don't know. It's also, that's just my advice on it. 
And I'm not saying to always like give yourself up for your friends, but you know, you can go and you can go and accomplish your goals while having a good friend group. And I'd say that having a good friend group actually brings you closer to your goals because when you're feeling down and out or not that motivated, your friends will push you and just help you get there faster. I don't know, little short tad bit, but like, yeah, I would say one thing that I've done to actually improve my life lately is becoming more vulnerable and making more friends friends with guys and friends with girls. It is so remarkable and so, so awesome. I wish I did it sooner, uh, but it also comes with like, I don't know, rejection sometimes happens and you realize like some people aren't meant for you. And uh, I mean, that sucks and it's uncomfortable, but like, what's the other choice? Not having friends? Go out there, try your best and um, see what happens. As always, namaste, I wish you the best.